Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another Trending Tuesday. Today, we're going to talk about some uh, stuff that I know has been kind of eagerly awaited by quite a few of you. Um, this is available in the 1980 beta. Uh, this is the ability to change your effects via the execute screen. Really, really cool thing. So, to get started, we got some lights here. We're using our spots, just as an example. We have an execute screen here with the basic busking shortcuts in it. We'll just set a region here. Uh, the first part of this is that now the directions and the uh, effects are bound together. So if we were to come in here and do, let's just say a two color effect of global set to set color one, red, set color two, white, and do a two color effect. If we were to change that to center in now, it affects the effects center out, same thing, reverse. And we've now added a bounce option to make use of the new bounce settings. So there's that part for the busking shortcuts, but we can also do this with regular effects. By coming in and adding an effect to the region. So if we go to our spots, we add an effect, we'll do the same thing. We'll just go to color. We'll do a two color of red and white. There's our effect running. If we were to record that into the execute screen and fire that effect, we can now actually I should probably make that effect actually not be a group effect in that sense. Hang on, let's change that. If I can hit the right button today, that would be amazing. View item, view cube, view effects. Go over here and make it within groups. There we go. Now we got a nice effect going. We can also use those to change real effects. So this is a Q stack with an effect in it and the buttons still work to rearrange that effect. We also have a slew of new assigned special options to go along with this. So if we go to assign special and we go to rate parameters, you see we have our usual spade, snap, two parts, so on. We have nth parts to put various other parts in it. So if we make a two parts button, we go in here and let's assign special. We'll just look at a few of these. If I wanted to do a spread of zero and a spread of a hundred, you can key these in and make buttons for if we wanted to do every 10% or whatever you, you decide you want to do with it. Uh, we also have width and size. So if we were to change and make a width of 10 and we'll do a width of 50 and a width of 90, we can easily make buttons for that. We also have the ability to change the spread within a group effect. So we can do it within the grid, within groups, all channels. Uh, not gonna see much of a change with that with these 12 lights, but this will change, let you change how that effect is applied. And then we can choose which Speedmaster to assign to that effect if we were using Speedmasters. So now that we've added some of those buttons, you'll see that if I make it two parts, I end up with a two part effect. If I put the spread to zero or a hundred, if I change the width to 10, 50, or 90, I can now control all of that stuff here within the region, just like we would any other regioned uh, item. So it's based on the group that's in the region and what you put in the region with it. Uh, we also have some other things. In timing, we now have all of the directions as well as the new bounce. So we can interactively change all of that stuff while we're busking, while we're changing, or while we're working in the execute screen without having to do anything complex or dig into the queue itself, like I did a second ago to change the spread, uh, or the group spread. Um, you can just do it all right here on the execute screen. This setting also has, or the settings also have a really cool trick where if you don't include any actual effect in the region, if it's just a group and these settings, they will actually control your currently active and currently selected playback. So if we were to copy our group down here all by itself, we'll take all these buttons we just made with it. 
and we made that its own region. Now, if I run my circle effect down here and I make it two parts, you see that it's affecting my currently selected playback. We do spread of zero. We can do our width. Uh, there's no width on a circle effect, so it's not going to affect it. We can obviously only change the things that are part of that effect. But you see that we can quickly change what are currently selected playback. This works like the old rate masters, uh, where it is bound to your selected playback, like a lot of the things that the crossfade master uh, tend to be. So you could have a stack of positions, a stack of colors, a stack of intensities, and choose which one of those you're applying this uh, change to. You see here, if I don't select that playback, these buttons have no effect. As soon as I select my circle again, there they are. So it gives you a lot of really cool flexibility, a lot of cool uh, ways to enhance your show, to do different things within your execute screen, again, without digging too deep. Uh, and it gives you more options for the busking shortcuts here as well. So um, that's really it. It's that simple. Um, there's not much else to it. Make the buttons you want, put them in a region, and they work like you'd expect them to. Um, the other new thing we've added, of course, is the bounce effects. So if we were to do a two-color bounce, you guys will see that that'll start bouncing back and forth. That's all I got. I mean, that is the fastest training Tuesday in the world, I think. Um, we have added some other stuff. Um, there's some new options to deal with chunks and effects. I'm just going to skim through the, the change log here and give you guys some, some highlights. So if we add color effect in, now we can easily use shift and encoder F to access chunks. It's no longer part of these, uh, I believe it was spreader segments previously. So if we make this group, so we go, <coughs> excuse me, turn our crossfade down, make it more obvious. So now if I hold shift, you see we have chunks here. So I can do two chunks. Now I get my left and my right, like I would expect. Three chunks gives me that. So you can access the chunks a lot easier. You don't have to use some uh, arbitrary segment number here um, to get into your chunks. Uh, something that I think has been there for a minute is also we have the ability to control attack. Uh, again, if we hold shift, we have attack on encoder Y. Or sorry, encoder X. Oh, it is Y. I haven't played with that too much. I think that only applies to certain waveform effects. Uh, what else can I show you guys to make this not be a 30-second training Tuesday? Of course, the bounce effects. So bounce is found in direction in the effect. You see we have bounce forward, bounce backward, bounce in, bounce out. So we can do symmetrical bounce effects if we want to. And yeah. We also added some more one-shot effects. So if we come over here towards the end where we have our one-shot option, we now have the ability to do one-shot, two-shot, three-shot, four-shot. So we can run the cycle four times, three times, two times, one time, as you'd expect. And then lastly, we've added the ability to do effects on group grids. I think we've talked about this a little bit in the past, but it's really useful to be able to come in here, go to view grid, lay out our grid accordingly, and be able to run an effect across it. For an example, if we were to do our spots and our washes in a single group, view the grid. Uh, there's quick ways to build this. Uh, if you're given you've built your visualizer, we can go grid action and we can go get from viz, and it's gonna lay it out. But now, if we turn these guys on, and we'll fan them all out. Just put that there so we can see what we're doing. If we were to add an effect, then we'll do our simple color effect. We'll do red and white. Back in here and change our crossfade to zero. And we'll do it, we can do within groups, which is going to use the whole group like you'd expect. But now we can also say grid horizontal. And if we look at our output grid, you see that it's running that effect across the grid in essentially columns as each step. Likewise, we can go in here and say grid vertical. And now you see it's going to step through each as a row instead of a column. 
This enhances your ability to make effects on complex rigs and gives you a really, really easy way to interactively shuffle around your fixtures if you need to. Uh, because the grids are always live, if you rearrange fixtures in the grid, rerun the effect, it's going to reorder that effect. So a little bit less fumbling around with head numbers and getting the right selection order and making sure you, you can run your effects evenly, left to right, right to left, up and down, so on. And now you just lay out the grid, make, make the layout grid look like what you want, shuffle things around. So for example, here, this fixture's uh, found itself in the wrong spot. If I just move him over, it'd be a small change for our effect here, but now our effect would run properly symmetrical and horizontal, and we wouldn't have this one light down here uh, just popping on at the wrong time because he was in the wrong place in the grid. So some really cool stuff for those of you that like to play with effects. Um, I've been using the output grid stuff for a little while now in testing, and it works great. It, it's so much easier, like I said, than shuffling around head numbers and trying to get, you know, 20 fixtures selected in the right order. It's pretty awesome. Uh, and then, of course, these settings here for the execute screen to give you that much more flexibility. And uh, I think we're going to need a lot more execute screens now because we're going to build all sorts of fun buttons with these uh, to control our effects and give us, again, more flexibility for our show. Uh, so Luke's babysitting the chat right now. Uh, we'll see if he's got any questions, maybe. Give him a minute to reply there. Nothing so far. Really? I thought I thought we'd have more people asking about this. This is something that's been asked for for a long time because I know a lot of guys, a lot of you guys were going out and making all sorts of really complex macros to do something like, say, change the spread of your effect or something. Um, but that's great. Um, go grab the 1980 beta and uh, give it a try. Oh, Steve's taking, Steve's stealing all my questions. That's nice. Thanks, Steve. Uh, but yeah, yeah, we're like, like we always say, we're watching the chat. We will look at the chat afterwards. If you guys have questions afterwards, if you're watching this later when it's not live, feel free to ask questions. We keep an eye on you both YouTube and Facebook. So, um, yeah, feel free to ask any questions or of course you can reach out to support in your area. And yeah, as always, you can find us at www.campsuslighting.com and, uh, yeah, check out that and keep an eye out for, uh, the newly acquired media master stuff to come out that's that's something we're looking forward to showing off and getting you guys into so thank you everybody for showing up and uh we'll talk to you soon thanks